Our next category is Best Actress. And I'm bringing up someone who I feel like could be an actress in her own right, but does so many other things. Melissa Thornley. Yeah. Melissa is a former board member of the Midwest Film Festival and current board president of Free Spirit Media. After almost two decades of leadership in production and post-production, she started her own consulting firm. She now works with ad agencies and corporate clients to develop inclusive and human-centered cultures. And she's also director of marketing for one of Chicago's longest running independent record label, Pravda Records. She's amazing, I've known her for, God, uh, yeah, like two years, don't wanna date ourselves. Uh, is an incredible, incredible woman and human being, and I'm so happy to have her presenting tonight, Melissa Thornley. Thank you. Woo! Thanks, Jonathan. Oh my gosh. It's so great to be here to see all of my friends that I've known for decades. Mossman, Myers, all these people out here, as well as all of these new faces. This festival has evolved and grown so much since I became involved with it in 2005. So I am thrilled to be here. And the last time I presented, it was also for Best Actress. So there's something, there's something funny about that. So before we go any further, the nominees for Best Actress are... Your nominees for Best Actress. Emma Thatcher as Liz for Provo. Charon Alvarez as Soledad for Heart Song. Shariba Rivers as Vera for Smoking Gun. Jenna Prentice as Jade for Jade. Well, let's see. Best Actress goes to Emma Thatcher as Liz for Provo. Oh, thank you so much. This is this is huge and really heavy. Cool. Um, I have a, a little bit of a list <laughs> in case I forgot something. <laughs> um, I would love to be able to thank uh, my acting school where I studied acting, but actually uh, I feel like that kind of just messed me up. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's, a, yeah, there's probably a few other BFA people in here, but it, uh, it made me really stiff. Uh, they told me that my size limited the kinds of roles that I could play. So that was really fun as an 18 year old, but my crew made up for all of that BFA trauma. <laughs> uh, a lot of people ask me in Q and A's and stuff like, what was it like directing and acting at the same time? And I don't really know what to say because sometimes I feel like I just like blacked out and had to do it. <laughs> it was, I was in like survival mode. Um, but really it's because I had this amazing crew who would give me feedback and we just created this creative uh, sandbox and we were able to be completely collaborative and everyone had a say. There were only like five, six people on set most of the time. Um, and also, I want to thank um, Sarah for um, giving me lots of notes, and Ali Torum, who was my um, woo, Ali Torum. Uh, she, <laughs> we, I, I don't know if this is made up. I think it might be, um, but she was in charge of emotional continuity. <laughs> so she just, uh, she just made sure that she had a grasp on the big picture of the story and everything, and and helped me a lot. It went from cigarette continuity to uh, emotional continuity. Um, and she's a great uh, writer, director as well, and I was so glad to have her on my side. And also to Hunter Bryant, who is my co-star. Uh, a lot of Provo was improvised, so um, I'm so glad that I had him on my side. He's such a chill, um, amazing person, and also just a great person to have on set, so yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Best act.